pinch my skin and slap my sin. Do, 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 do. Anyway, speaking of taking it wrong, um, <clears throat> so, oh, I don't want to get into all this, and I, I hope to God I don't, because I'm not in the mood to talk, but <clears throat> I want to do a quick video, or a quick, uh, little, whatever you call these, clip, whatever. Um, so I just got the Xbox One X, and I gotta tell you, it is head and fuck shoulders way better than the original. Fuck the processing power. I didn't even give a shit about that. Just the overall aesthetic design of the fucking thing is far superior. The controller, far superior. Everything about the system, just look-wise, is superior than that old chunk of piece of shit that they tried to sell. Down magic piece of shit. Fuck that. Let me get me started. Always on, watch me masturbate. Bullshit. Connect. Bullshit, okay? This system looks... I'm sorry, this system looks good. I do wish it was white, but I wasn't going to pay the extra hundred bucks for the white. Whatever. Uh, anyways. Um, I literally just got it installed. And I, had, I had a few problems, but nothing major. Just fucking around with cords and shit. And, uh, but overall, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with it. And my little junky TV from Walmart that was like $350, 4K, whatever, it actually seems to be working. I mean, it, it, it's probably coming out at like 1080p, and I'm like, oh, wow, that looks so good. And it looks like exactly what it looked like before, but whatever. I couldn't tell you the difference. All I know is I like the way it looks right now, so. <clears throat> but, uh, <sighs> like right now, I'm, I'm, I'm basically trying to uh, download the old games. Um... And that's taken quite a while. Dude, freaking Halo Master Chief Collection is like 72 gigs of gig, gigabytes or gigafucks, whatever they are. Oh, I think I'm at like 10%. I was like, jeez, that's going to take all fucking day. Oh, I'm talking about fucking my bandwidth over, jeez. Anyways. Yeah, because I, I, don't, I don't do like... Little USB cards or whatever the fuck that shit is. Little flash. I don't do. I don't do that kind of shit. So I'm not gonna take the old one and huckle up to the second one. I ain't got time for that shit. Now, when I give you the old one, I don't know. I don't know if my stuff is gonna be on it. I don't know how that works. It should. It should still be on there. Um. If not, I'll just give you my information and shit, and you can just go in there and delete the fucking thing, basically. Although you probably end up deleting my account altogether. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to hook it up to the other TV and see. Um, that way you can start fresh or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying this thing. And it wasn't a bad price. I mean, for the for what you're getting, four hundred bucks is not a bad deal. I paid four hundred bucks for my PS4. Although, I, well, technically, it did come with Destiny One. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing though. If if I could get the raid shit from Destiny One, like the weapons and stuff, I'd play Destiny One on uh, Xbox One. I kind of want to go back to Destiny One. Destiny Two is just giving me the shits right now. I can't stand that fucking game. <sighs> But now it's like, I want to buy all the fucking games I have again. Like, I want to get Red Dead Redemption again. All that crap. I want to play it in the new, you know, enhanced visuals. So, anyways, <clears throat> I started downloading Halo Master Chief Collection. And it, I, I'm really impressed with how they do it because you don't have to download the whole thing to actually start to play it. So like you could hit play maybe a level while it's downloading or installing or whatever the fuck it's doing. So that's actually kind of cool. Um, well, I don't know why I got to download it all, install it at all, because I got the damn disc. I shouldn't have to do that. This, this oh, let's turn into a mini PC bullshit. No. The reason I, I do consoles is so I don't have to fuck around with all that download bullshit and hard drive space and shit, but whatever. Oh. <sighs> And the sad thing is, I don't have a lot of games. Um, 
I have what? The Master Chief games. I have all the Halo games. Um, I only have like one or two games, so it's like, pfft, big deal, you know? Um, but yeah, I started playing Halo 1. Holy shit, that looks good. You can see like every fucking blade of grass. It's like, holy shit. And there's no blur, or at least not as much as it was. Like, you turn into Halo, even the uh, updated version, like the new, like, enhanced, remastered version, you know, you go three feet and there's like this blurry dick in front of you, it's like, it's like, this, like somebody literally put Vaseline on your fucking eyeballs, it's like, and it's like, no, this shit's sharp as dicks, dude, holy fuck, I'm actually surprised, um, no, my love of Halo has kind of waned since, you know, Halo 5, but, you know, I think a lot of people's has. Let's not get into that. Um, yeah, I'm actually really kind of digging this thing. My, uh, interest in Xbox has definitely been renewed. You understand, dude, that original system was just straight garbage. It's, it is an ugly looking system. It is big as fuck. Oh my god. Now, this one's heavy. This one is, like, super, super heavy. Like, 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 holy shit. Like, I got a hernia, I can't lift it kind of shit. Not joking, sadly, but, you know, whatever. <sighs> but, I'm a little disappointed the cords are so short. The cords could be a little longer. I mean, 500 fucking bucks, the cords could be a little longer. Kiss my dick. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the interface, not gonna lie. The interface of the Xbox One is just... Yeah, not my favorite. Ironically, PS4 has got it down pat. PS4, even Switch to a degree. Even though Switch, if you want to look at your shit, you got to neat, 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 go over like 900 fucking things. But, you know, PS4 is like that too, in a way. Um, but yeah, this, it's like if you want to see your games, I don't even know where my games were, because I, I, I swear to God, I haven't used Xbox in a while. Like over a year, I haven't used it, and I was like, I had no idea where any of the stuff was. Um, I just had no desire to play it. I was waiting for the new Halo. That was basically it. And they have no exclusives. They literally have no exclusives. And I won't even, I won't even give them shit for, well, it's not technically an exclusive, but it's on Xbox and it's on PC. Fuck PC. I don't give a fuck about no PC bullshit. You know, if it's on PC, I don't care. It's ex still exclusive to the Xbox. You know. But, whatever. So, like, they had no fucking games that I was interested I mean, yeah, if I want to play Forza for the 18th fucking time, which I'm not a big racing fan, there just really wasn't a lot of shit. I buy Xbox for for uh, Fable and Halo. That's it. And they fucking shit-canned Fable. Hopefully they'll bring it back. And hopefully whoever's doing it can actually capture the uh, uniqueness of the original Probably not. And Halo's kind of in a dump since Halo 5 and 4 and 343 and all that bullshit. Oh, anyways. Yeah, I'm definitely digging this fucking thing. And I will say, I give 343 a lot of shit. Rightfully so. Rightfully fucking so. Again, again, the, the, the idea that they hired people who didn't even know who Master Chief was to make Halo 5. What? What? Uh, whatever. And of course, oh, we gotta get the women in there because they gotta be inclusive. If the women don't know what the fuck they're doing, they should include my ass. They shouldn't be in there. Okay? Oh, we're gonna spotlight the women in our industry. That's cute. But until you make make a Halo game that I'm I'm proud to say, hey, I'm, I, I'm here, I like this, I don't give a fuck. Take your little political bullshit and shove it up your fucking ass. Make a good Halo game, and I'll celebrate the whole fucking team. How about that? I don't care if they got tits or not. I'll fucking celebrate the whole fucking lot of you. Okay. Don't even get me started with that, but whatever. <sighs> yeah, I'm definitely... Dude, this thing looks really freaking... I mean, I'm talking the physical aesthetic of it. It looks really... Compared to the original... Oh, my God. It was fucking... Dude, that thing is like a piece of brick ass. It's like... Somebody took a, a molded ass... And plastered or perished that shit into like this brick of fuck... 
painted it black and put a big X on the side of it. It's like big ass cheek. This one, I mean, it's not dainty. It's still pretty hefty, but jeez, man. Whew. I don't know. I do. I wish I had this thing a year ago. I swear to Christ, I wish I had this thing a year ago. <sighs> Whatever. I can't wait to play like the new shit. I want to see Red Dead Redemption on that son of a bitch. I'm almost tempted to drop sixty bucks on. I can't right now because I don't have money because I just literally spent four hundred on this fucking thing. Um, but it is what it is. <sighs> I did get Games Pass. I got a free month that came with the system, so I can play different games on it. Which is I think it's kind of a cool idea. It's only Netflix for for gaming and. You know, it is what it is. Um, you know, I haven't actually had a chance to try it out. Because, obviously, I'm still... Dude, I'm still downloading fucking Halo Master Chief Collection. Oh, and they freaking updated it. I think I mentioned this one other time, but they freaking updated it. The whole, like, interface, menu, and everything is all different and shit. Yeah, you know, so far from what I've seen, I'll give them credit. I think they did pretty good with it. I mean, they did jack shit with it for like four years because like, well, the hardware just doesn't do anything so we're not going to actually try to do anything because if we f try to fix it, we may break it even more. I mean, think about think about how you got yourself in a position where if you quote-unquote fix it, you could break it more. <laughs> Only Microsoft. <laughs> I mean, that goes right along the lines of, you know, how come you never get a virus that actually fucks up the problem and fixes it and like... You know, like if there's a malware fucking thing on there or some shit, how come there's never a, a crash that destroys that, you know? It's like, oh, you're, half your fucking hard drive is gone. Half your freaking, you know, whatever's gone, drivers and whatnot's gone. But wh where did that shit go? Why don't you fucking go after that fucker? But again, you never see that kind of a crash. <laughs> you know, the crash that actually fixes your shit. Whatever. <sighs> um, I'm trying to think, what else is there to talk about? I haven't had a lot of experience yet with it because, like I said, I just played a little bit of Halo. Um, yeah, I'll do it. Oh, fucking shit, dude. I'm. I want to get back into Halo. I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I can bring myself to play Halo Five. I don't know because when I think about playing Halo Five, I think how much more fun it would be to punch myself in the balls repeatedly until I die. Um. And I'm just going to say that as a fact. Not as a joke, but as an actual sad fact of reality. <sighs> but I, oh, I do want to see what it looks like, though. Because apparently they, they gave it like this this makeover and shit. And I do want to see what that motherfucker looked like. Um, but yeah, I want to I want to try uh, Sea of Thieves, which, I don't know. <laughs> um, I haven't heard good things about that game. I have not heard good things. And it, I'll be playing it predominantly solo so and of course nobody's playing the fucking thing none of the none of my old friends are on there which i never really had any actual friends ps4 i actually have a couple friends or you know i actually talk and communicate with and shit but they're a bunch of assholes anyway but it's neither here nor there <laughs> i mean they're there they're a bunch of assholes i'm assholes so don't get me wrong when i say that but you know it is what it is <clears throat> but uh I just wish Xbox was kind of in a better place. I mean, I'm really happy with the system. Uh, again, not a big fan of the interface, but they decided they're going to... It's one of those things where they kind of threw their cards on the table and like, fuck it, we're all in. You know, it's like... Uh, whatever. Um, I'm trying to think what else is there. Um, do 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 do, -do. Uh, Yeah, again, I don't know, man. Because... What happened, I had to change my whole shelving unit around. And as a result, I brought my N64 back out. Got all the games. It's sitting there. I got the little um, NES. I, I want to try to squeeze the NES in there somewhere. The little mini NES that you got me. Um, but I don't know if there's room. It probably won't be plugged in. Because that one, dude, that one was super fucking cheap. Which, obviously, you know that. But... Like, the new ones have the HDMI. This one has, whatever, the component cables and shit. Which, I think my, I think this TV does have component cables, but trying to fuck with those things. 
because I can never get the component cables right. It's like red into red, yellow into yellow, and white into white. But there's like 85 white and 85 yellow. And I, I swear to Christ, I never know which one is which. Um, so, <sighs> but I'll probably just set it there. Um, I, I really do want to get the, the actual official one, though. Um, just to have those fucking games, because... Now, if those games had been on the one you gave me, they'd be fine. Like, half the freaking games aren't even there. They're, they're like these cheap window hand-me-down idiot games that some fucking 15-year-old kid made. Like, oh, I'll make Mario game, huh? You know, some stupid ham and egg bullshit. But there's like 700 of them, or 500, whatever the fuck, or 600, whatever the... They're shitty, but there's 600 of them, you know? It's like 600 pieces of shit, you know? <sighs> whatever. Because that'd be kind of cool have, like, all three right next to each other. Have the, the, the cheap knockoff one and have, like, the official one. And then the SNES. Dude, that little SNES Mini is fucking cool. Like, if you got a hundred bucks, you should get one before they sell out if you haven't got one yet. Just for the novelty of it. That shit's cool. That shit's just really cool. <sighs> so I was able to take that, that's the SNES Mini, and plug it into the back of the Xbox. I then took my um, soundbar, plugged that back into the back of the... Uh, Xbox One X, and so everything's up and running. The N64 is not up and running. The cables are there. I just got to plug them in, and ah, and I got to fuck with that shit. I'd love to set it up because what I might do, if I can get some, uh, if I can get some shelving units, I might buy a cheap TV, like a three, maybe four hundred dollar cheap TV, like save up for it, and put it out in the living room. And then maybe have, like, all that shit out there. Like the N64, maybe the, the original uh, 360, shit like that. Well, I don't really need the 360, but there's still a couple games I'd like to maybe have an opportunity to play. Um, and have shit set out in the living room. Not that I'll ever go out there, but just, you know, for the sake of having it out there. Um, maybe I can hook up the original NES. I don't know. Whatever. Because I do want to get one of those, uh, those Genesis. Because the, I don't know if the Genesis I have even works. I couldn't get it to work with either of my TVs. Because those, those component cables don't necessarily always work with the newer TVs. They don't play nice. Like, N64 does not play nice with the flat screens. They did. N64 looks at the flat screen and laughs. Okay. <laughs> it's like... That, that shit's like, like Space Odyssey 2001, okay? It's like, fuck you. It's so far into the future, it's not even funny. Oh... <sighs> But that's for a whole other fucking lifetime. I don't know if I'll ever get that far. <sighs> because it would be nice to take the SNES Mini and put it out there, but I want to kind of play it, too. Like, I probably won't play anything out there unless I get a, a decent chair out there, which, eh. <sighs> so I kind of like it setting right here where I can just play it, you know. But having, like, an old-school kind of setup. But like I said, I want to get one of those Genesis ones where it has the... Uh, I think it comes with preloaded games, but it also has a slot for the cartridges, because, oh, dude, I want to play some of that shit. I do have to get X-Men 2, I think. Yeah, I got X-Men 1. I got to get X-Men 2. I want to play that again, the X-Men series on Genesis. I don't know why they won't bring them out. I hate all this licensing bullshit. Well, we can't do it because it's licensed to somebody, and somebody has this, and then, and then, Fuck that. Fuck that. Give them 20 cents every fucking sale. Give me a break. You're selling a damn thing for ten bucks. You tell me you can't give them twenty cents for every sale. That's really gonna cut into your profit. Fuck you. Give me a break. <sighs> a bunch of greedy cocksuckers. All that shit is. Anyways, let's not get into that. Um, trying to think. What else is there? Uh, do 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 do. Yeah, I brought out. I brought out a bunch of stuff. I had. Um, I set up that one shelf, like I said, with the SNES Mini, uh, the N64 cartridges, I had a shitload of cartridges, and the system. And <clears throat> I had this plush Mario doll, and this little plush uh, Toad, oh, and a uh, Wario, a little mini plush Wario. The old woman bought it for me for some reason. <coughs> Actually, she bought me all that shit. All those little plush toys in one year. Whatever. <coughs> So I got, I got the Mario sitting there, 
It looks really cool. I got this little plush Mario just sitting on top of the N the N sixty four games. Um, <coughs> excuse me, jeez, <coughs> fuck. <clears throat> and then above that, I have, I have the new Xbox One and the PS four is next to it. And I got this Master Chief bobblehead. It's sitting on top of the Xbox One. Looks really fucking cool. And then above that, I have the Switch and my phone and my uh, internet uh, router. I gotta get a new router too. That's another thing. Jeez. <sighs> but I figured, you know what? Last month I bought pot holders. And what I buy? I bought something else. What was it? Shit. Um. I bought some some T-shirts and some pot holders. I think there was something else too. I think there was something else like big that I really needed. And this this month, because each month I want to buy something big. Not not big, like, well, it's, you know, a new yacht. And I don't mean like that, but just shit that I need. Like, I need a new um, knife set. I gotta, I'm got i going to drop, like, 80 bucks on that at some point. Like each month I want to get something, you know, something that I need around the house. Now, did I need the Xbox One? Yeah, you know what, fuck it, I needed that motherfucker. I'm very glad I got that motherfucker. I'm very glad. Some bitch in my house. Okay. <clears throat> and I, get, I was giving Microsoft shit. They did good with the system. Price is a little bullshit. No, don't get me wrong. What you're getting, the price is great. They're they're probably losing money on that fucker. But, dude, it's five hundred bucks. I mean, that's a lot of fucking money. You could buy a used car for that much. I mean, not a very good one, but you still could. You know, five hundred dollars is a lot of fucking money. No, granted, this thing's probably eight hundred, nine hundred dollars realistically. So, I mean, you're getting a deal. It's not. It's six fucking teraflops for fuck's sake. I don't know what a goddamn teraflop even is, but I know there's six of them. I don't know about that PC jargon bullshit. I ain't got time. <coughs> yeah, this thing processes like an old broad, I'm telling you. In a good way. And she's she's snapping them in and out. Like she's got like a turnstile, turning those tricks. Silly. <sighs> Man, god damn, dude. You compare this one to the original, like the OG motherfucker that came out. Oh my god. Oh my god. That thing is absolute trash. That thing is an absolute piece of garbage. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. It barely can do 7, 7, what, 720p? This thing is doing what, what, uh, 2160? It's like double 180 visually. The pixels and shit. Here's what you should do. I, I'm, I'm serious. I, I'm dead serious. You should take the Xbox One that I have. After we delete everything, of course. Um, and you should take it down to GameStop. Sell it. You might be able to get like 50 bucks for it. And then drop 200 bucks and buy the X Xbox One S. You, <clears throat> believe me. Believe me. You'd be in better position. I know you're like, I have an tube TV. Who, you, dude... No, no, no. They ain't old tube TV. Fuck that shit. I got your tube hanging, motherfucker. When you start experiencing real quality visuals, you're going to be like, oh shit, where the fuck have I been for the last 42 fucking years? Jackass. Fucking piece of trash. Stupid system. Tube TV piece of shit. Old fat boy TVs. Although I probably could use a fat boy TV. Especially for the old consoles. If you got an extra one, I'll fucking buy it. Fuck you. I ain't paying you much for it, but I'll fucking buy it. <sighs> Anyways. What else do I want to talk about? The house is a freaking mess. Oh my god. Well, I've been kind of moving stuff around and making ready for the Xbox. Because I had a lot of shit to do yesterday to get, get ready for this. Because I couldn't just unplug everything and plug it back in. I mean, I could for everything, but the power cord I couldn't. Which means I had to root around underneath the stupid thing. Then I had to un unhook everything. And it's just insane. It was just insane. But I got all the cords kind of settled. They're kind of fucked up still. Like They're an eyesore, but they're not what they are. And oh, I, I got it done is what's, what I'm happy about. I got the shit done. That's all I need to know. I got it done. I haven't. I went shopping today. I haven't even brought my groceries in yet. 
and I got frozen chicken and hamburger and shit. And it's like 40 degrees outside. I got to bring that shit in. Dude, that shit's been out there for like four hours. Okay. Now it's cool, but it's not like super cool. <sighs> but I, I, I forwent, foregone, for, for go whatever, getting my groceries in the house for this thing. Now, to be fair, I did come home with Burger King and I ate that and then, you know, basically wanted to pass out. But this is neither and there. <sighs> Anyways. <clears throat> uh, I still don't have my package, my freaking Amazon Prime package. I still don't have that shit. That shit was supposed to be here Wednesday. Motherfucker. <sighs> stupid scumbag post office. Thank the Christ they sent the stupid Xbox One through UPS. I, dude, I come home. I come home from shopping. It's never here this early. I was expecting around five o'clock. Like I was doing countdowns. I was like, okay, I got another, another, you know, forty-eight hours, another twenty-four hours, another twelve hours. I was doing countdowns and shit. And <clears throat> I come home. I see the one of the cousins were here. And I come home. I come upstairs. I half almost expected to see my Amazon Prime box sitting there. No, I look. It's the Xbox. I'm like, shit. It must have come early, and one of the cousins dropped it off. Took it upstairs for me. <sighs> Anyways. So, yeah, that was my freaking day. I got boxes everywhere. I got shit, dog chewed up stuff. I got two. Oh, my God, it's such a freaking mess everywhere. <sighs> I got a lot of work to do. I have no cleaner, because my cleaner's in a freaking box somewhere in the post office. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Dude, I have had, I had, I bought, I told you this, I bought 12 cans of Cherry Pepsi, and I never, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say I've never had Cherry Pepsi, I haven't had Cherry Pepsi in like 25 years, okay, and I saw it and I was like, fuck it, let's get some Cherry Pepsi, it's been over a week, tomorrow it'll be a week, it should have been here, it should have been here a week tomorrow. And I got 12 cans of Pepsi that are just floating in limbo somewhere. No, I fuck deal where they are. None. Did they drop it off to the wrong house and some schmuck just started eating my food? I mean, I, I don't know. And of course, then we had this stupid Vortex, so cans of soda in the middle of a fucking Vortex. Now, granted, it's in a box, but still, you're talking 20 plus minus degrees. Fuck you. That shit's probably frozen, and it probably burst. That's probably why they didn't bring it to my house. The shit burst all over the place, and it's like, oh, it's some contamination field shit, and they gotta fucking call in the freaking bomb squad bullshit. Ooh, this one's leaking. It tastes like lime. No, it don't taste like lime, motherfucker. Fuck you, Eddie. Yes, Aunt Bethany, your fucking cat does eat jello, you bitch. <sighs> Anyways. <sighs> I did get my flip-flops today. I was actually surprised. I come home, they're in my bucket. It's weird. My flip-flops were in the bucket. And my Xbox One was at the top of the stairs. So I don't know if the neighbors went and got the mail and dropped the shit off in my bucket. And then Cousin Cindy came and saw the box and took it upstairs. Or she's like, oh, I'll leave the flip-flops in the bucket. And take the thing up. I don't know. I have no clue. I don't care as long as, it, as long as I got it. I don't give a fuck. Who does what with it? You know. Oh. <sighs> Dude, come on, you gotta lay down. Um, no, you gotta lay down right here. Oh, anyway, it's just been one of those freaking days. I did buy some. God damn it, you clawed cocksucker! You scrape across my fucking foot again, right on the underside. He takes his claws and he goes a step and he, he, he slips and his, his claws go right down the middle of my foot. The tender part of your fucking foot, you. Cock sucker, I gotta stomp the fuck out of you, you little bastard. Oh my god. Oh, it's stinging me, it's stinging me, it's stinging me. Ah, ah. I don't know if you've ever had that where it's like the skin and it just, it just it stings and like you can feel it like for like minutes after. Ah. Uh, I gotta kick you right in the cocksucker, you son of a bitch. End your fucking days. So you to end days, bitch. I swear to God, dude, one of these days you're getting a foot in the ass. You're not going to know why. One of these days you're going to have size 13 rip your fucking ass. <sighs> I swear to God. 
Because he won't lay down. No, he's got to be stomping around like a fucking retard. Like goddamn Boomba Lottie twins over here. Stomping around and making messes and shit. Like a fucking earthquake. Whole house is shaking. Scumbag fucker. Anyways, what was I talking about? <sighs> Anyways, whatever. <sighs> so, um, do 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 do. I ended up spending more money than I was supposed to today. <laughs> I, I overspent because I, you know, I had a certain allotment for the food, you know. And then I had a certain allotment for, you know, my other stuff in the budget that, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, I had about $190 or so for food. And I spent it all. <laughs> Spend it all. I ain't gonna tell Dale T that. I'm gonna try to save like an extra twenty bucks or something for the end of the month, like middle of the month when we go. So I, you know, I might only go f for some lunch meat and shit, but still, I got twenty dollar bill. I'm going to Burger King either way. So Dale T's gonna drive all the way for just take me to Burger King. That's all it's gonna be. Fuck him. <sighs> Anyways, I didn't. I, I couldn't figure out what to do for dinner, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do some uh, meatball subs. And it's like, well, fuck, I'm going to do meatball. I might as well do sausage, too. I do meatball and sausage sub. Oh, well, I'm sitting there thinking, well, what do I'm going to put in? I'll get some green peppers. i get some onion, which I'm glad I got. I should have got some celery. Not that I want to put celery in that, but I could do other stuff. Whatever. And then I was like, okay, well, what else can I put in it? And I was like, well, that's basically all you need. Maybe maybe an egg, maybe a little milk if you got it, you know, to make up this meatball mix. And I was like, well, you know what? In case I don't want to do that, I'll let me buy some frozen meatballs. So I got some frozen meatballs, and I got some hamburg mix to make meatballs. And while I was there, <coughs> right next to that was this almost $9 thing of sausage, but it was like this huge, like, loop de loop de loop de loop Like, whatever. And I didn't want to pay $8, but I was like, yeah, that's a lot of sausage, man. I can get, like, two packages of, for, like, four, and it's still probably half what's there. So I was like, yeah, fuck it, let's get it. And I got, like, $8 worth of sausage, $8 worth of ground beef. Jesus. Oh. Then I got a cheap jar of sauce, because what I'm going to do, and I learned this from the old woman. I'm just going to throw that out to you. Like when she does spaghetti, or did spaghetti, I should say. She, she, she don't do it anymore. I hope to Christ not. <sighs> fucking zombie apocalypse, and the old woman's making fucking spaghetti. What? Jesus. What? Whatever. Whatever. <coughs> um, what was I talking about? Oh, the zombie apocalypse. Um... So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my meat, I'm gonna mix it all up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some. I don't even put the green peppers in it. I was thinking sausage and green peppers. So I don't know. No, I'm not gonna put any sauce, any uh, green peppers. In. All that. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus, what the fuck? <coughs> fuck me. <clears throat> Anyways, I was thinking I could put some green peppers in it in the ground beef, and I'm like, no, nah, maybe a little bit, maybe it's a little bit for flavor, but not, not like big chunks of it or anything like that, I'll do onion, that's about it, anyways, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna make up my meatballs, I'm gonna bake them, I'll do the sauce, and I'll cut them in, in, you know, decent sized little lengths, actually probably what I'll do is I'll cut the thing in half, like I'll split it right down the fucking middle and then cut the set. Or cut it and then split them, whatever. Whichever one seems to work better without making a fucking mess. <sighs> and then what I can do, <clears throat> put them on a baking tin. And if I had olive oil, I'd sprinkle it on there, but I don't have any, so fuck me. And I'll stick it in the oven. And I'll bake that shit. And then when it's done, I'll take a big pot. And I bought this cheap jar of sauce. I'm going to fill the... I'm going to put the jar of sauce in there. And I'm going to fill it with like a shitload of water. Just like completely oversaturate it with water. So this just got a little bit of a... You know, spaghetti flavor taste. I'm going to boil the shit. I'm going to take all the meatballs and all the sausage after it's been baked. And I'm going to boil the shit. So that it's like fork fuck tender at the end of the day. I'm going to boil it for a couple hours. 
<clears throat> we're gonna drain that shit, take all that sauce, that shit sauce, and get rid of it. And I got this good jar of like ragu. Um, we're gonna take that. That's gonna be on our actual buns and shit. Now I'm a little bit pissed off because I didn't pick up any cheese at the one store, and I was gonna go to the dollar store because they have they actually have good uh, mozzarella cheese there. Well, I get there, all the mozzarella's fucking gone. I'm like, you motherfuckers, you scumbag motherfuckers. So, what am I going to get? I'm going to get Monterey Jack. Am I going to get this? So I ended up getting some stupid Mexican blend. It's like, eh, whatever. <clears throat> Not what I wanted, but whatever. So, we're going to put some cheese on that, some bitch. So, we're going to bake it. So, what I'll do is I'll take the rolls. I'll split the thing. I think they're already split, but whatever. And I will uh, take some garlic and some butter. Put it on like both ends of it on the inside, and then put my meatballs on one, and then take my sausage on the other, and we'll bake that shit. <clears throat> of course, you got the cheese on it and stuff. So when the butter and the cheese melt and shit, oh, dude, that's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. <sighs> then I got some freaking eggs and some English muffins and some cheese. I did buy some ham and some cheap bologna, so. <sighs> whatever. So, because what I'll probably do is, I got the riddle out, so I'll probably just do some eggs and cheese on English muffins with some, uh, either ham or bologna, depending on what it's not as good as with bologna, but it's still good. I prefer ham, but if the ham's not available, because, you know, you ate it all, you know, tr trials and tribulations and shit, but it is what it is. <sighs> Anyways, <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I bought, and it cost me... Cost me almost all my freaking money. Then I get to the dollar store and I'm thinking, what do I need? I need black pepper, which I was like, I got in there and I was like, you know what? I don't feel like going all the way to the other side of the fucking store. Fuck it. I'm going to go without. So I don't have any black pepper. I had no black pepper. Uh, anyways. And I decided what I, what, I, what I needed was I needed some cheese. I need the, the, the shredded kind, and then I wanted some cheese slices, the Velveeta cheese slices, for my egg and English muffins. <clears throat> so I get that stuff. Of course, the minute I get in there, some old fucking lady's got to wheel up behind me and sit there and act like I'm in her fucking way. And I'm like, you stupid bitch, go fuck around. Of course, the stupid aisles are so narrow, she couldn't go around. So I was like, fucking, I'm just going to stand here. She's old, she'd do it to me, I'm going to fuck it. So I open up the other counter, the other cooler door. I was like, no, I don't want that. I'll close it and I open up the other one. I grab what I want <clears throat> and I walk away. That motherfucking old bitch would have done that shit to me. She'd still be standing. We'd still be, I'd still be behind her. Whatever. <sighs> so I got some shitty cheese, but that's okay. And I got some good Velveeta yellow cheese, again, for the eggs. <sighs> And then I get around there, and I'm like, oh, shit, I got to get sugar. Because, like, sugar is about the only it's for the Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid is about the only thing I drink. I, I do drink a little bit of soda, but not a lot. And I need to be drinking more water, though. I'm not going to lie about that. I do need to drink a shit lot more water. But I needed, for the month, I needed to get, like, two bricks of the sugar. I go, dude, I go through, like, two a month. I go through two bricks. I'm surprised I don't have cancer. Okay, let's just throw that out there. Uh, but I think the reason I don't have any cancers is because I have the fucked up bladder. So when I drink this shit, it literally just goes right through me. So I'm literally peeing like within an hour, with less than like half an hour of drinking. Sometimes like 10 minutes after drinking. <laughs> like I can drink a soda and literally within probably 10 to 20 minutes I gotta pee. And I think that's really the only thing keeping me because the sugars just don't stay in it. They flush right out. Now, not all of them, obviously, but you get my point. I'm saying that more sarcastically than anything. But, you know. It's like when I say that I think the reason I don't have um, blood clots in my legs is because I have restless leg syndrome. So my leg's always moving around, <clears throat> bobbling around and shit. You know, it keeps it moving. Uh, yeah, again, I say that as more of a joke, but it is true, actually, in a way. Whatever. So anyway, I was like, well, shit, because I wasn't going to spend that kind of money. I was trying to get as little money spent as possible. And then as I'm going through the last counter, the cooler, 
I see those Tyson chicken strips, and they're really fucking good. I'm like, God damn. So I picked up two of them. They're, I think they're like close to six. No, they're like probably closer to eight dollars or seven something. I picked up two of them. I was like, fuck it. I don't even care. I don't even care. My bill came like 30 bucks. I don't even care. <sighs> Anyways. I think it's a good shit, though. I got a loaf of bread at the dollar store. I didn't get my pepper. That's the only thing I didn't get. And, of course, nobody will sell me fucking pepper. Amazon won't sell me pepper. They have it. They will sell it, but they won't sell it to me directly. If I want pepper, i got to pay, like, $23 for, like, 10 of them. Okay? If I want just one thing of pepper, the little, you know, tin can, the clink, 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 tin can, i got to have Amazon Prime. So a $3, $4 thing of pepper now becomes $10. Uh, I don't feel I don't have money for that shit. Uh, so anyways, I had to I had to finagle my money around a little bit. I had money. I, I had plenty of money. It was just I didn't want to use as much as I did. Like yesterday, I did not want to eat out. Actually, I'm glad I did because I had a, this. Uh, what was it? Cheddar bacon burger. I never really never really did burgers from them before. Usually it's sub or pizza or calzone or something. I never really did burgers. I gotta say, it wasn't too bad. It actually wasn't bad at all. Kind of enjoyed it. <sighs> but of course, I'm a fucking glutton, so I had to get extra stuff. Like, I seriously, instead of just buying a fucking seven, eight dollar hamburg, of course, you gotta get the french fries. And I was in the mood for mozzarella sticks, and I was like, you know, I could get a combo platter. That only gives me three, but if I said, shit. For six dollars and some odd cents, let me get an actual thing of them, and they come six six in a pack, and I was like, "Oh shit, that's like a dollar mozzarella stick. I ain't that bad, you know." Well, I probably could make my own for about thirty cents, but whatever. <sighs> it certainly wouldn't be as good. Oh, no, 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 no. You put them in the freaking hot air cooker, and then you sprinkle them down with some uh, olive oil. They come out pretty good. <coughs> Same thing with chicken. You bread that shit, put a little egg wash, a little, little bread, stick it in the stick it in the uh, hot air cooker. Ten minutes come out, spray it with some olive oil. Ooh, it's like crispy chicken. Okay. I was going to say something racist, but... <laughs> I have to not to. But seriously, it's good stuff. But, uh... Yeah, dude, I love my hot air cooker. Holy shit. <sighs> Honestly, God, if you've never had hot air cooked chicken, you you didn't know what the fuck you're missing because it, it's... The kids love it. You should get the hot air cooker because you need to be cooking and eating healthier. I swear to God. You get the hot air cooker, it's one of the best things you'll ever do for yourself. It's one of the best things you'll ever do. Just shut up. Just shut up. Don't even... Don't, don't question. Don't be like... Wee! I have never strayed you wrong yet, okay? I told you about Fringe. You loved it. I told you about... I mean, there's numerous things I told you about. You know, you got time for that. And then you do it, and you're like, oh, it's really great. I love that. <sighs> okay. No, don't give, me, don't give me any bullshit about that. I'm telling you, you get yourself a hot air cooker. They're like 95 bucks at Walmart. It'd be the best thing you've ever done. You just... Uh, dude, you just take a piece of chicken that's frozen and stick it in there, turn it on, walk away, watch some TV, and all of a sudden you hear ding, and you go out there and the shit's done. It's like cooked. It's beautiful. And then if you want to like bread it, because you're probably going to be breading it because, you know, it's not healthy, but you could do that too. And if you want that little hankering for a little fucking, uh, uh, what do you call that shit? Uh, fried? Just sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on it. It's just just like you fucking deep fried that son of a bitch. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. You get one of them motherfuckers, it'd be the best thing you ever did. Like, honest to God, I swear to God, if if you bought one right now, yeah, of course, it had to be a good one, obviously. <clears throat> you would love this thing more than your children. Okay, your your children are nothing compared to this thing. Your family is nothing. Your wife is nothing. Your, your, you are nothing. You're nothing. This thing is God, okay? That's how good it is. No, hear me. Hot fucking air cooker. I don't remember if you remember the one we used to have back in the day, that big one. 
In fact, it's the one that uh, the picture of Dale T standing next to the turkey where the old one put the entire turkey inside that son of a bitch. Dude, that thing was really good because it was literally one of those convection things. That the air was just flipping around and shit. Oh my god. You put hamburger patties in there. You put chicken patties in there. You put you put vegetables in there. Oh my god. I was watching Emerald. He's got one out. He had these little cooking tins. He's making like like cookies in there and shit. Like like bread and stuff. I never knew you could do that. I don't know. You could, well, the problem with mine is mine's really small. His is kind of a medium size to large. So like I can't really be baking no bread. <laughs> okay. And plus, I don't have a little baking tin to put it in. Whatever. <sighs> well, I'll tell you right now. You you buy one of those things. You will you will never bake again. I swear to God, you will never bake. The only thing you got to be careful of is that if you leave it in too long, it will dry the fuck out. Like if you put bread in there, you can you can toast bread, but you put it in there too long, it it just becomes dehydrated. Dude, you can even seriously, you can actually put like meat in there and dehydrate it. You have to be in there a while, obviously, but um, whatever. Well, you can make like beef jerky in that shit too. Um, I've never done it. But, whatever. Yeah, I would seriously get one. I would absolutely get one. Especially with your shit and the shit you gotta do with. Um, <coughs> I, dude, I love mine. I absolutely fucking love mine. Like, <coughs> the second it, it, the second the one that I have dies, I'm buying a new one. I don't give a fuck. <coughs> what is with my throat, man? I'm chofing like an old bitch. Ugh. No, so what the hell did I make the other day? Um, I did try pizza in there, and I didn't care for it. You have to have a certain type of crust. It has to, you know... But, like, I did one of those frozen pizzas, and I cut it in half. Actually, I quartered it. I, actually, no, I, I cut it in, like, three different pieces, like, big enough so it would fit inside there. The crust was a little soggy, but it was kind of like this mix between... Like, if you've ever had one of those little mini pizzas and you microwave it and it comes out kind of soggy, kind of shitty, but it's still kind of good for what it is. Or if you bake it and it becomes, like, really nice and crusty hard. This was kind of in the middle. The outer perimeter was crusty, but the the center was, like, gooey. And, like, not gooey, but... Gooey's not the right word, but it was soft. It was, like... It almost felt like it was undercooked, but, like, in a good way, if you get what I mean. Um, Like, that spot in your head, it was just soft. You know, it was just one of those things. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Because it wasn't microwaved. It wasn't completely cooked. And if you leave it in, the only problem is you leave it in there, then the outer perimeter would just start getting, like, dehydrated. And it would be this, like, sand and, like, hard brick shit. I don't know. Like, I was doing onion rings in there the other day. Um, Shit, dude, you can make your own onion ring. I, I may have to do this. I may actually have to do this. <sighs> and it, they're actually shit, dude. That stuff is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That, the shit that I make is pretty damn good. And it's very simple. I think I'm not sitting with, you know, all these spices and shit. Like, I literally take two frozen pieces of chicken, or three, depending on how big they are, because I might give some to the dog, and I just throw it in there and turn it on. You know? But, like, if I wanted to thaw it out and then bread it, do it in egg wash and bread it, you totally could. Anyways. What am I talking about? I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm completely rambling right now. Like, I'm completely rambling. Um. Do, 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 do. Yeah, freaking, dude. Fucking air, hot air cooker. I have, I, I, I honestly got, I, I don't know. Like, if you got one and didn't like it, I would give you something. I'd give you my Xbox One X if you didn't like it. Like, if you legitimately bought one and did not like it, I, I, that, that, that's how confident I am in this shit. Like, you need to take, you need to take a hundred bucks and buy one. I should probably get them cheaper than that. I don't know what they run, but the one I bought from Walmart was like $94. That was a couple years ago, but, oh my God, worth every fucking penny. I swear to God, worth every cent. Because you can do really cool stuff with it. You know? So, anyways. 
Enough about all that. I, I'm thinking about all the stuff I could cook in that shit. Like, I did onion rings one time. I did, uh... It's great for french fries. Well, it depends on the french fries, but... You put french fries in there, really good. Really fucking good, but you can't keep them in there too long, because then they turn into, like, like cardboard, but... Yeah, they get dehydrated, basically. But... Yeah, you sprinkle them a little olive oil, stick them in there, just like you deep fried them. You could do it with, like, a tablespoon of that shit. Or a teaspoon, whatever. Just kind of, sp- you know, actually, you put it in one of those little spray bottles, you know, ch- 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 just spray it on there. You could probably do it with, like, Pam, too. You probably can use that kind of shit. I don't know about that, but, um, whatever. But, yeah, you could do that. And, oh, my God, there's so much stuff you can do. I don't want to use it right now just for shit. I want to just turn it on right now and just hear it spin, hear it turn on and, you know, spin up and shit because you got the fan and stuff. Oh, I literally want to take it, unplug it, bring it here, and lay in the bed with it. That's that's how much I love this fucking thing. Not a sexual thing. I'm not putting my dick in it or nothing. Wouldn't do that. You, re, you know, it's like I told the dog the other day. You respect the pillow, the pillow respects you, and he goes off and starts humping it. But whatever. Anyways. <sighs> but yeah, fucking dude, I love this Xbox. I don't know what the hell I was doing. I, just the fact that, the, no, don't get me wrong, I appreciate the fact of, you know, where it came from and all that. I don't want you to get the wrong impression on that, but I'm talking from, like, the company point of view. <clears throat> they sold a piece of shit, an absolute piece of garbage, dude. This system, the original, the OG system, oh my god. Whew, absolute trash. absolute freaking loot trash. I don't know, man. But yeah, I'm super happy with this. And like I said, I can't wait to start playing other games. I can't wait to play some of the new stuff. Oh my god, I'm 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 excited. I'm actually Team Xbox again. It's like I I you know I, for how long I may get you know dis disenchanted with their bullshit again, but <clears throat> oh I can't wait for E3, dude. I'll tell you that much. Oh shit! And apparently, apparently. Apparently, apparently, sometime around the end of March, they're going to the GDC, which is Game Developer Conference, which I swear to Christ, I'd love to go to GDC, get all the major developers in a room, walk up on stage, get in front of the podium, in front of the microphone, and say, what the fuck, and then walk off stage. Some of these developers are just idiots. I'm sorry, this is bone-dumb stupid sometimes. <sighs> Whatever. A little pet peeve for the afternoon, whatever. <clears throat> but apparently, they're going to start putting Xbox Live on um, tablets and phones and... Oh, and Switch. <laughs> now, I'm secretly hoping it means I can play Master Chief Collection on the Switch. Playing that motherfucker portable? Holy shit. I, told, dude, I, I emailed him. I was like... Instead of wasting time, instead of wasting money trying to get into a portable market that nobody wants you to be in, because you're Microsoft and you suck, but I didn't say that. But I was like, instead of wasting the resources, instead of doing all that crap, why don't you actually take your games, not all of them, but the ones that make sense, and there's a few that definitely make sense, like Viva Pinata. Dude, Viva Pinata would print fucking money on Switch. Lucky's Tale would print money on that fucking... And if they, they brought over Master Chief Collection on the Switch, holy shit, the internet would break. Especially if motherfucking Master Chief was in Smash Brothers with Banjo fucking Kazooie. <clears throat> it break the damn internet. And I'm like, why don't you use the Switch as your... Because they're not really competition. Not in that sense. The system's doing well. So instead of... Wasting resources and money and be like, oh, let's make our own portable console that'll fucking fail. Because guess what? If Sony can't compete with Nintendo in the portable market, ain't no way in hell Microsoft is going to do it. They've got no games, no exclusives, no nothing. Okay? And you know Microsoft going to fuck it up. You just know they're going to fuck it up. Oh, Windows. They're going to put Windows on the fucking thing. That's some stupid shit. <clears throat> you know, whatever. So I was like, 
why don't you take the system that's there, system that you're actually that you've actually done work with because they bought Minecraft and Minecraft is on Switch, it's also on PS4. So they've Microsoft has kind of branched out and is making updates and whatnot for their, their competitors. So I was like, why not take these franchises that you know will sell and put them on the fucking Switch? It's a win-win. You print money. You print money. Fuck the le you know, fuck the legality of it all. Fuck the whole oh we want an exclusive for our fan base. Fuck your fan base. Your fan base is everywhere. And I said that to I was like, motherfucker, your fan base is on uh, you know they're not on just Xbox, they're on the PC, they're on the tablet, they're on the Switch. Yes, they're on a PS4. Of course PS4 won't play nice. I could, you know, Nintendo will play nice, so apparently Xbox Live is coming to Switch. Now, what that means, I don't know. It would be kind of cool if some of the third-party games that have achievements, I mean, if the achievement system came over, because Nintendo's online system sucks, okay? And if they could get Microsoft to do it right, and they don't even have to lift a finger, maybe pay them a couple bucks, Dude, it's win-win. Win, motherfucking win. You got the party chat, you got the whatever chat, you got... Da, 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 da. Even Sony isn't doesn't have it on, you know... Their idea of that type of stuff is not is not perfect. Okay, we all know Xbox One is superior to that shit, so to put that shit on the Xbox... Now, whether they're doing that kind of stuff, I don't know. It might just be some lazy app where it's like, oh, you can look at your achievements, or oh, you can look at the, you can do something stupid like that. But if they brought the Game Pass over to Switch, and you, because they're big into this, play your game wherever you're at. If you're with your tablet, if you're on your phone, not if I want to play like hardcore game like Call of Duty on my phone, or you know Gears of War on my phone. Okay, I don't know about that, but. <sighs> You know, they allow you to, they're going to allow you to play on basically any device you want to play on. So, theoretically, you could play Master Chief Collection on freaking Switch. That's fucking beautiful. I, I, no, it's not like an actual licensed thing. You know, I, I, I assume they have to license it at some level, but whatever, however that works legally, but it's not like, oh, yeah, this is our game and, you know, we'll put it on your console. It's more like, this is our service, and we're going to... Because they're doing all that streaming through the cloud bullshit. Um, so you just put an Xbox app on there, and boom, you can do stuff through it. Now, to what extent, we don't know, but... Whatever. <sighs> but yeah, that's going to be awesome. That's going to be fucking cool. Even if it's just bare bones, although I hope it's not. Because when... When has Microsoft ever done anything bare bones? I mean, they they go out of their way to fuck it up sometimes. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. I mean, I mean, when's the last time you used Explorer? You know what I'm saying? They go out of their way. Bing. When's the last time you used Bing? They go out of their way to fuck it up. So, take it for what it's worth. Maybe they can even bring a fucking uh, internet browser to Switch, too. That'd be kind of cool. Who knows? But it would be fucking cool if you could. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, dude, I'm fucking loving the system. I love the way it looks. I love, I love the the graphics, I, dude. Everything. <sighs> I love the system. I really do. I don't know if it's gonna. I don't know if it's gonna switch over to my main, because I'm still kind of loyal to the PS4, just because I'm familiar with it. That and I got all my shit set up on it. So, like, I don't have Netflix set up on Xbox. Actually, I don't have Netflix set up on anything other than a PS4. <sighs> Whatever. Anyways, I did not want to do a freaking hour clip, but I just did. And it was probably boring, and I don't give a fuck, to be honest with you. I got me an Xbox One. I got Xbox One. I got Xbox One X. Uh, uh, well, you got nothing. You got your shit. Uh, uh. I got the Xbox One X. You got nothing, bitch. Uh, uh. Anyways. <clears throat> but no, seriously, I would take the system that I'm going to give you. I'd trade that fucker in, and I'd buy a good one. 
Actually, you probably could buy a used fire. You could probably buy either refurbished or a used one for like 150 bucks. They probably give you maybe close to 70 bucks for it. So you're talking maybe, maybe total 120 bucks. Get yourself a Xbox One S. Get the white one. <clears throat> yeah, I'm telling you. Maybe we could set it up where you could uh, file share, where you could you know share all my games and stuff. Well, I don't have a lot, but. <sighs> Maybe I'd buy some, you know. Kids could play, whatnot. You could play. You could play Halo. Play any of the Halo. Although Reach isn't up there. I'm very pissed with that. Why is Reach not up there? They said they're thinking about bringing Reach. Well, why are they thinking? Why not do? Well, I don't want to hear your retarded excuses. Why is Reach not the fuck up there? I don't get it. <coughs> well, it's not really compatible with... No, fuck you. You know, how it's, you know how it's compatible? You take the fucking game and you make it compatible. Okay, it's called... It's called technology. Not retarded excuses 101. Not just, you know, throw throw a dart at the board. Oh, that's what retarded excuse we're going to use today. I mean, I'm sorry, but dirt is not a fucking excuse. <clears throat> Anyways. So. Actually, I don't think I got anything else to talk about. Hold on, let me take a swig of my drink. Son of a bitch. Ooh, nice cold root beer from Burger King. Very good. Sometimes their, their soda's not that good. This one was actually very good. Very happy about it. Uh, I think what else is there to talk about? Um. Yeah, like I don't know what my next purchase is. I think, well, it's my birthday. Technically, the Xbox One is also partly a birthday gift for myself. So, because <clears throat> I don't need to justify it, I saved up for it. Okay, I did. I saved up for it. No, I may not have gone according to plan, but I did save up a couple months for it, and it's partly a birthday gift. I need the Blu-ray player, because my PS4 is starting to shit the bed. Not shitting the bed, but... <clears throat> it could go... What is in my throat? <coughs> in my throat. It's like, fuck you. <clears throat> I'm having this problem lately, and I don't know what it is, but whatever. <sighs> Anyways. So, I needed the Blu-ray player. Plus, I got... 4K Blu-ray player movies, and I want to see 4K blue movies, Blu-ray movies on my 4K TV through my 4K fucking system. Can't wait to see what the freaking extra quality looks like. It's going to be great. It's going to be fan-fucking-tastic. Fantastic, then. It's going to be great. <clears throat> so, there's that. And, you know, whatever other fucking excuse I can come up with. Plus, I give you the old one. So, it, it was win-win all the way around. It was a little pricey. The reason I did it in February. Because it's a short month and, you know, I could survive. I could survive. I could survive anything. <clears throat> so... And plus, I needed it, honestly, to kind of reinvigorate my interest in the, the, the system and the, the company and cause I'll be honest with you I, I was I was completely pissed with Xbox to the point like I ain't playing it no more I'm just pissed with it I mean I'm still a little upset with some of this stuff but whatever so uh, I haven't really had a chance to see if all the new stuff that's been going that's going on with the system, but eh, as soon as I'm done with this, I will uh, I will uh, go and do that. So, you know, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. So, anyway, I'm sorry if this was a boring clip. I don't really give a fuck. So, uh, fuck you. <laughs>